Well, I don't claim to know best practices on building uh, fake scenery, flowers and such for small scale buildings and dioramas. I just used what I had in my material supply and what I thought would look right. For the climbing roses, you know, the most of a rose branch is a brown looking stalk. So I had this grapevine, which does have a little bit of flexibility. That was important because I wanted to wrap part of it around at the front of the building. Uh, I broke the first piece. You might have noticed that. And then I found another one that was a little smaller, but flexible. So that's what I started with. I started building my structure of the vines and the branching just with grapevine. I glued them together with uh, Beacon 3-in-1 glue, I believe. And that worked fairly well, but when I got it back to the actual birdhouse, I ended up adding some stronger glue and a little bit, a couple of spots of hot glue here and there just to make sure that it sticks on. So you saw what I was doing there. While it was on the building, I used a piece of masking tape and taped um, it together so that I would know the shape that I wanted there on the building. And then I added the Beacon 3-in-1 glue uh, to where they should join together. Now, the grapevine is a little stiff, so I knew I needed some branches that would bend and flow, and so that's when I grabbed some uh, floral wire and started just kind of wrapping that around. And those little squirty little tiny pieces on the grapevine, you know, that attach themselves actually to um, a structure. I unwound those two and used those also to attach the eventual greenery and petals. To add the leaves and the rose bits, I just started with brushing on a little bit of Tight Bond Quick and Thick over the branching areas. And the leaf material and the rose material I both uh, purchased from Hobby Lobby. For the leaves, I used uh, in the diorama section of Hobby Lobby, they have a lot of variety of things. And I used blended turf uh, in coarse green. I just dumped a little bit out on that styrofoam tray and then dipped the gluey areas into it to attach that. And you're going to see for the roses, I thought what in the world can I use? It needs to look real. I stumbled on a little bag of beautiful col colored uh, shredded dried roses and it was in the area of Hobby Lobby where you make soaps.
For the basic structure of the ivy vine, as you saw, I just used a piece of twine and unraveled it, separating it into very fine strands for multiple branches. I also tried to shape it a little bit so that I had some shorter ones and longer ones like a vine would grow. Now for the greenery part of the vine, I had a problem because I had ordered some leaf material from Amazon and it's still not here yet. So I decided that is some moss that I gathered from my yard several months ago. I don't know why I did it. I just pulled it off and set it on a table in the basement where I, my craft area is and it completely dried. I think you would have to have it completely dry minus any moisture because that might make it rot and mold and be a mess. So I shredded and cut that up. I even used some of the brown bits from the actual rooting area of the uh, real moss. Now I'm using again that blended turf, coarse green, um, to add more texture, more variety in the mix. But I also needed some larger leaves, and so I was trying to think what in the world could I use. So my go-to was my spice drawer, and I added parsley. <music> 